I'm usually not a big fan of bullet points, but I did notice in Apple's presentations how they have this magical style of animating builds that's different from what you can do in basic Keynote. I've deconstructed it and rebuilt it here, and today I will show you how you can build animated lists like this that I don't recommend for the main content of your presentation, but are a fun way to summarize your main points at the end of a presentation, whether you have a dark or white background, or even if you have an image, a video, or a dynamic background, where you can animate your slides and use some cool effects like this. And for those of you who find this to be a bit cumbersome, at the end, I'll even have a resource you can get that will save you some time putting this together for your own presentation. Here I have Keynote open on my Mac. I've got it opened up and a few slides already prepped. I'll explain to you what I have and then help you get up to speed to get your presentation built. First thing I'll do is come over here to the left side of the screen. I'm gonna click on this little bar and drag it out to make my thumbnails larger for you. And at the top here, you can choose to show object list. And what we're doing today, you wanna have that open. It will save you a lot of time hunting down things on your screen because we're gonna make them invisible. On this first slide, I have this icon for Keynote. You can use whatever image you want. The second set today, I'll be using a book cover from Gar Reynolds' book, Presentation Zen. Third slide, I have a photo here from Philippa's LinkedIn page. You place this image, you get it whatever size you want and style. I've added a little bit of a shadow here so it pops off the screen. Come here to the top right corner of this screen and tap on Animate for your inspector. Make sure Build In is picked and do Add an Effect and come down here until you see pop. This is my favorite. This is how we're setting it up today. I'm going to set it for 0.75 seconds. And at the bottom where it says build order, I come over here, you'll notice it's set for on click. And I'm going to change this to after transition. That way it automatically animates when we get on that slide. That slide will animate and that's all that will happen there. This next slide, I've moved it over where I want it to go. Once you move it, make sure you come back over here to the top right and change that to none. You don't want a build that's already built on your slide. So you want to have your image, move it to where you want it on the screen, and get it all set up, but make sure there's no more animation because that will help the magic move transition make this all work into place. You can test this out by going back to your first slide, click on Animate, Add an Effect, and come down to Magic Move. A warning will pop up on the screen. You can click OK, and if you preview, you'll see that it will simply slide that image from wherever you started it to where you want it on the next slide. The important thing is the image has to be exactly the same, and so make sure you use the same image, you just copy and paste it, it's ready to go, and then add your bullets. Now here's one thing that's different. If you add a text box with bullets, there are ways to animate and build them one at a time, but not in the magical style that Apple does. So these are each a different text box. And here's how you set this up. Initially, your slide will look something like this, where you have your image placed where you want it to go, you come to the top of the screen and you'll tap on text. Now your text box is here. You'll type in whatever it is you want all of your text to be. This is an unusual one where it's one phrase. I'll show you next how to do it with bullet points. We have our text all set up and ready to go. I'm going to drag this over here and center it on the screen next to my image. There's good white space all around here. The font is bold and easy to read and pops. And again, I would use this as a summary slide, not as a key slide throughout your presentation. Once you have this all set up, here's where you have to do a little bit more work to get the effect that I showed you in the demo. You're going to right click on that text box and you're going to duplicate it. And then to help this be easier to work with, you're going to come over here to format while that's still selected, click on text, text color, and choose something totally different from what you had before. Now drag this into place, and what you're going to do is highlight everything except your first line and delete it. Your text box is no longer going to be lined up, so you're going to drag it up here and get it in place. Now you will right-click and duplicate that text box. You'll come back into your original here. If you triple-click, it will highlight one line of text. You can copy, triple-click, and paste. Hit the delete key. Now again, we want this to not match up there. So we're gonna come up with that text box selected, go over to color, select the color again. Does not have to match, drag that in place. You can use your arrow keys to get it adjusted just right. Again, duplicate, drag this one down, triple click on the next line in your text box, copy, triple click. 
This time to save you a step with the color changing, if you come up top and do edit, paste and match style, now it will paste the text and it will keep that color the same. We'll hit delete for that extra space, then we'll click and drag this to be perfectly aligned or as close as you can to that original text. One last time, we'll duplicate it, we'll triple click, we'll copy, triple click, we'll paste, drag this in, line up as best we can. Now, if you remember, I told you to have the view objects over here, the show object list opened up, and this is why. Each of these text boxes can be clicked on one at a time over here. And if you click on this bottom one, you'll see that is the whole old text box you had. You can now with that selected hit delete and all you have are these individual text boxes, which is what you need for your final slide. Now you can click and drag over all of them. Come back over here to the right hand side, choose text color black. Now you have your slide the way you want it to look. Always be sure when you're working in Keynote on your Mac, that you come up here and do file and save. I don't know why they haven't built in an auto save feature yet, but that's important for you to do. Also a big plug if you don't use the Time Machine backup on your Mac, this is a great reason to have it so you don't lose work if something were to go wrong. So this is what our final slide is gonna look like. Now we have to do the hard work of setting it up to animate each time. We're gonna do that in a few different steps. First of all, we're gonna create what everyone will see, then we're gonna add what nobody sees. So if this is our final slide, we come over here on the left, we can delete that one we started with. We're now going to right click and duplicate, click on the one above, then go down here and we'll delete that bottom text box. Repeat this each time to get down to your first animation. So we'll right click, duplicate, come back up to the top one, click on the bottom sign of text, delete, Go to that two lines, right click, duplicate, click on the top one, click on this bottom line of text and delete. And now we have our slide with just the image and then each of these pieces of text. Great summary for your presentation. Now we have to create the animations. So here's how this works. With Magic Move, it magically moves things into place and it makes subtle changes to things that are different, but they've gotta be very subtle. A part of the magic for these slides is things need to move. And if they're gonna move, they have to be in different places. If all you wanna do is show a bulleted list where they line up like normal, you can leave them where they are. To create the magic that Apple uses, you have to have this list moving as it's building. So we tap on our second slide here, and we're gonna drag this down to where it's centered on the screen. You might move it a little bit left to right right now. Don't worry about that, we'll fix that here at the end. Then come over to your next slide, click on the screen to where you select both of these text boxes and drag them down to where together they are centered on the screen. Again, repeat the same process. Third slide, drag it down till it's centered. Fourth slide, this should be centered. While you have these selected, come over here in the top right to format. Make sure they all left justified. Then click on arrange. You go over here and click on align and then choose left. It makes sure they're all lined up. So now our final slide is ready to go. These are lined up on the left side. And if you look over here in the inspector, the position is 877. That's their position on the screen left to right. Tap on this slide with the three. We know they're centered on the screen, but we also wanna come over here make sure that our position is 877, just so it's exactly the same. That'll help with the animation a little bit later. Do that with the two lines of text, select them. You can see these are off just a little bit. One line of text, I checked, but it's already there. Now you can see this is going to expand, keeping the text centered, but it's gonna move as it builds. Now we come back to our first one, click on this text box, right click and choose copy. Go to your very first slide, right click and paste, drag this over, keep it centered, somewhere about halfway off the screen, and then come up here in, in your inspector to text, text color, and choose white. Now it doesn't show up anywhere, but here it will. And if we tap on this slide, come over to our animate inspector again, and we tap preview, we can see that on our very first action, it will move that icon or image over and then it fades the text in as if it's magically appearing on the screen. There's our first one. Now we go to our second one. This time, you're going to click on the second text box, right click, copy, come back up here to that first slide, right click, paste. We're gonna drag this down and give it some space below that first text box. Then to make sure it doesn't look a little weird, come over here to your inspector again, format, arrange, and make sure that position is 877. That will make sure it's lined up left to right with the text above it. It is, so the last thing we need to do is come over here and choose text, color, make that white. 
Once you have these all built and you're ready to check your animation, click on that first slide and come all the way down here, hold the shift key down, click on your next to the last slide. Down the far right corner, change this to magic move for all those slides and set it to 0.7 seconds. Now on that first slide, we've added that text and it's hidden down here. So if we go up and tap preview, we can see that on the next slide, it will magically move that first one up and then fade that second point in. Now we'll repeat this for the third one. Click on the text box, copy, go back to the second slide, right click, paste, drag this down a little bit so it has to move. You can see our guide shows up on the left here, letting us know we have it aligned. And if we do that and then come up to our inspector, we expect to see under arrange that it's at 877. So that actually saves us a step from having to do anything. But we will go into our inspector for text and change the color to white. If we click on the slide, Go over to our inspector and hit animate and click preview. You can now see that that's working correctly. Now for the last one. Come down to our final slide, click on that bottom text box, right click and hit copy. Slide before it, right click, paste. Use those helpful guidelines on your slide. Give it some space to move. Then come up to your inspector, format, text, choose white. And now if we walk through all of this, on this icon on our first slide for animation, because it's the first slide in this section, we're going to come down here to the bottom for build order. Over here on this floating window, we're gonna choose on click. We're doing that because the first slide in our presentation, there is nothing before it. If you were adding this at the end of your presentation like I recommend, you could have it happen after transition so it happens automatically. Let's see what this all looks like. Now our icon pops on, text magically comes in, each line floats in and the whole thing centers and you now have a list to summarize your presentation that will capture your audience's attention just like Apple does in theirs. If you wanted to do this with black and white, same kind of thing. You build it on your screen, put your bullet points in, format it, match the colors exactly the same way. If you have a dynamic or a video background or an image and you want your text to pop a little bit and be able to let the background shine through, you would come in here to format, little gear icon under text and give your text an outline, choose the color and the thickness. And then for your text color, instead of text color, you would choose no fill. And that's how you get that effect as well. And that's how you create an Apple style magic build of bullets. Again, I don't recommend it. If you wanna check out Philippa's article here, there are better alternatives to using bullet points in your presentation with information. And if you wanna look at the presentation Zen book or website, there are important things about bullet points working great in documents, but not working great in presentations. But if you're gonna use them, might as well make them like Apple, make them magical, grab your audience's attention. If this seems like way too much work for you, I actually have a template of this, and I have videos that walk you through how to add your own text to my template and be up and running much quicker. That can be found in the description of this video. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.